I can't yeah. believe it's already the end of the third season I of the know, show. I know. I can't keep up anymore. It's it's, crazy. it's flying by. It's going so fast. And, and one of the things that is uh, a change is I feel like Randall and Beth were laid out as this sort of perfect couple mm -hmm. over the first couple seasons, and, and this season we've sort of explored that that maybe uh, that's not the case. Right. Yeah. Has it been? <laughs> Has it been, I mean, it's weird to say, like, is it fun as an actor to take on that change? Because, of course, it's a more, you know, negative energy to be playing. Right. But uh, do you enjoy it? Yeah, negative is always fun because you... it's like, it's challenging. Sure. Right? And then it's a total change up from what we have been. But I kind of feel like it's realistic, right? It's life. I think if they stayed too perfect, people would start to question that. Or people would say, like, you know, that's not a representation of a real marriage. And we want to do our best to really represent what people go through. So I, I found the struggles to be really challenging, but, you know, I'm doing it with Sterling K. Brown. That's yeah, not that's bad. not that challenging, yeah. yeah. You know, One thing, thing you had to do without Sterling is uh, your character uh, had to rely on your background. Uh, you have a dance background to yeah, some degree. Yeah, yeah. Because there was some dancing for you this year. You, did you have dancing. to go back to the, to the drawing board? Did you have to uh, retrain at all for this? Yeah, um, they wanted me to do ballet. And, like, I left ballet behind, like, maybe when I was, like, 14. Yeah. Because I didn't like it. But when... Good reason. Yeah, that yeah. was my thing. I mean, Misty Copeland kills it. But, like, <laughs> I, I... But then I went back to train for ballet. And I found out I still didn't like it. Wow. And so I was like, okay, <laughs> what are we going to do now? Because they want her to do ballet. And I was thinking... So I asked him, I said, maybe modern dance, y'all? Does she do African dance? You know, I can get down with that. And they were like, no, it has to be ballet. So I was like, all right. Then I got this brilliant choreographer, Nia Brantley, who uh, started teaching me and coaching me. And she's fantastic. And she made it feel like it fit my body. Because I'd always sort of been told, like, you know, your stomach sticks out, your butt's too big, all these things that I, I didn't kind of fit into that genre of dance. And then she made it feel like I could wear it on my body and, and do it sort of boldly and proudly. So it worked out. I yeah, feel like, you it know, really did work yeah, out. Yeah, it worked out. I'm glad you, uh, you guys put the work in yeah, together. Yeah, we put a lot of work in. Yeah. You, um, I, this show, obviously, I don't need to tell you, has uh, fans are very passionate about it. Mm -hmm. uh, you have, are your family members, are they, would you put them in the category <laughs> of passionate fans? Yes. Oh, it, <laughs> is it good or bad? No, it's, it's, it's good. Yeah. Um, no, I have like this whole uh, text chain. My family in Jamaica is gonna love this because they're they're on this text chain, and so every time the text you know comes out, they have commentary about the show, and so you get different things because you know people are kind of divided, with you know there's a lot going about about Team Beth or Team Randall, and you know so they some, peop some people in your family are not Team Beth. Oh yeah. Wow. No, my <laughs> My family keeps it 150, okay? It's not... so, uh, so, you know, sometimes, you know, they'll say, um, you know, but, you know, Randall, too spoil him, too spoil. You spoil him too much. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> you know, or, or my niece will say, um, Auntie Sue, can you explain to me what your, um, how you feel about the Team Randall, Team Beth thing? Because I'm very Team Randall, and I was wondering what your point of view would be, just as a normal person and not an actress. <laughs> about what, if you were just looking at it objectively, like, who would you? And I was like, where you? I, I went back to, I was like, so your team who? Was like, and, but I get it. I think it's fun. Yeah, and, I and mean, that is a better option than them not watching the show. All. Yeah, so, absolutely. So, I mean, that means they're tuning in. And I'm, I'm definitely team, you know, R&B and, you know, hope for the best for the, for the couple, absolutely. So, there you go. Yeah. And uh, this is very exciting. Uh, you shot, is it Won't You Be My Neighbor, the uh, Tom Hanks film? It is called Now, A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. A Beautiful Day in the yeah. Neighborhood. So, and, uh, this is the Mr. Rogers movie. Absolutely. Uh, shot in Pittsburgh, yes? Shot fully in Pittsburgh, except we did a couple days in New York. Okay. Cool. And mm -hmm. was that, that must have been a fantastic experience. It was amazing because I was sandwiched between Sir Tom Hanks and Chris Cooper and Matthew Reese. And so I couldn't ask for a better uh, cast for my first feature film. Yeah. Well, that's exciting. We can't mm -hmm. wait to see that. Yeah. And congratulations on another season. Give it up for Susan Kelechi Watson, everybody.